okay, our industry is shut down. Like, how are we gonna, you know, have live entertainment still? You know, it started to dawn on everybody, I guess, that live music was done. It's over. We talk about I was at the airport, ready to go on towards some 41. I got told to go home, and you know, reality sat in that our our industry is at a standstill now. I had you know a whole tour scheduled out with Bliss and Esso this year. We had maybe 40 or 50 shows. Super pumped about that. I've been pumped about that for years, literally. Here I am, loading my drums in the car and just making shit happen, which is what we all need to do in these times and challenge ourselves to keep being creative and get those artistic things out, to work on our craft and just take things to the next level in these times, focus on family. You know, all the important things in life that when we're in the rat race, you kind of miss out on. I'm out here in Australia, Melbourne, Australia. We've had the tightest restrictions in the world. We're locked down from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. every morning. My drum school was shut down. All the gigs were over. I'd just come off the road with Unwritten Law, straight into nothing. So the only thing left to do, and me and Frank have spoken about this a lot, is to pivot. All we can do in these times is to, is to get together, think outside the box, and keep on pushing. This is like pivoting at an all-time high. Dan and I are just taking a pause from traveling with the show. You know, Dan's redoing his entire way he's going to teach now with his school. And once we can pick back up again, we're going to be touring the world and collaborating with amazing artists from all over the world to give you guys more of our, our series. But, uh, you know, it's time to just make shit happen. It's times when you know, the world is stopped. It doesn't mean it needs to stop for you.